What's up you guys? It's Haley. Welcome back to my channel. I'm filming a super exciting video today. I'm filming a watch vlog. What are we watching? Of course, a K-drama, but we're watching The Heavenly Idol. It's on Vicky. It just started airing. There are two episodes out. They just came out this week and I'm very excited. Um, Kim ming he was in it. He was the second male lead from Business Proposal, which that was one of my favorite K-dramas that came out last year. It was super popular. It's on Netflix, so if you haven't watched it, I would definitely check that one out. Um, this one is like a romantic comedy. It also has like some part fantasy in it, so um, from what I can understand what it's about, I don't like to read too much about the summary before I start watching. I like to go into a lot of K-dramas blind, but pretty much um there's this idol group and then there's this guy who um <laughs> is in this otherworldly cult as well as they say and so he's obviously very religious or very involved in this cult to some extent and um a freaky friday moment sort of happens and he gets put into this very popular idol's body and so, um, on the, on the mortal realm, because it's fantasy, so apparently he, this cult is in another world or whatever. So, anyway, that's kind of the premise. There's, like, a female character, of course. Um, I forgot how she comes into the show. But, you know, it's a romantic comedy, so it's a romance drama. Anyway, I'm filming a, filming, I am recording a podcast with my friend Maddie on Thursday, so I have to watch, and so I thought while I was watching, I would just film a reaction video. So this is a very lengthy introduction. Um, I ha I do have Korean class in a little bit. It's Tuesday night, so you might see different future Haley's <laughs> in this because K drama episodes tend to be long. Um, but I did want to just go ahead and start the drama vlog, the vlog while the house is quiet, and um, I have few distractions. So I'm gonna start it and then. Probably jump into my Korean class and then hopefully finish episode one, if not both, tonight. All right, well, for tonight, for tonight I'm watching the first episode on the iPad because I have everything set up for my class on the laptop. So I'm just going to go ahead and start it on the iPad. As I said, it's called The Heavenly Idol. It's on Vicky. So here we go. Hello in my reflection. Sorry about this light. Hopefully it's not too bright for you guys. And let's get in. And of course, it's a Studio Dragon. Only the best from Studio Dragon. This intro is so cute. Oh, there's another male. I wonder if this is either two couples or if there's two males that are gonna be competing for the main girl. Kim ming I'm so excited. Other world refers to one different from one that which we live in, a fantasy world where magic and mysterious races exist. I haven't watched a good K drama fantasy in a long time. It's a place where the divine power. Oh, I missed what that said. <laughs> it's a place where the divine power of the high priest serving. Redlin, the god, and the forever slumbering devil's black magic coexist. In the other world, the story begins. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh man, the aesthetics in this drama are gonna be so pretty. Is that him? Or is that a princess? Oh my god! What is that hair? Oh? That hair! Oh my god. I feel like this is gonna be a very aesthetically pleasing drama. Because it's fantasy. This is just a horse scene, a horse fighting scene. I don't like him and Q with long hair, that's for sure. This weave is not good. 
Okay, there's a bunch of black magic coming out. We see it. It's like literally black in the air. <clears throat> now they're on like a wild horse chase in the woods. Okay, he's wielding the bad guy. He's wielding some sort of black magic. I don't know, whoever wrote this premise, it's funny, it's interesting. No, Kim Ming Yu, he fell off his horse. Kim Ming Yu has like yellow or white magic when it comes out. And the other guy has black magic. Apparently there's something wrong with his divine power because the black magic was able to pierce through it. Uh-oh, he's wobbly. Something just happened to Kim Ming Yu. Wait, is it gonna go to the- oh? Okay, now we're in modern day. With the K-pop group, the idol group. I can't wait to see all of them. I hope they, I'm sure, they look like a real K-pop idol group from what I've seen online. It feels like time in the mod, it just like froze. It looks like time just froze in the modern world. Oh, what just happened? Oh, they just did the Freaky Friday moment. I think he just like switched. All the lights are flickering. <gasps> he looks so good. Look at his idol get up. He has an earring. He's in Justin. Look. Look, he has short hair. They just did the Freaky Friday switch moment. This is kind of hilarious. A high priest went into an idol's body. Did y'all see those hand veins? Oh my god, his midriff! Look at his hand veins, oh my god. And I think life is about to unfreeze. No, life's still frozen. He looks so good! He's gonna be an idol. And there's food floating in the air. And he touched it. Life's gonna unpause, there we go, yep. Life unpaused. And he's confused. <laughs> he's like, where is he? God, can you imagine being a priest one day and all of a sudden? We're 14 minutes in and he's already switched bodies, so. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of his bandmates are like, are you uh, auditioning for a historical drama? They look so good! Oh, I can't wait to see uh, a performance on stage. Alright, well, I'm gonna have to pause and go to class now because it's 7.55. So, um, we're 15 minutes in interesting first episode. I will see you guys back here um, in a little bit. So I'm gonna hit play and resume it. Like I said, we're like 15 minutes in. We'll see how far we go. And um, yeah, the goal is just to finish episode one and two by Thursday. So I just need to carve out time. So let's, uh, let's just hit play. We were in the dressing room and he's still confused. <laughs> The name of the group is Wild Animals. Which I think we knew because I think an article came out before the show even came out about this. We're gonna see their first day. Look at that K pop group, man. <laughs> Oh my god. He's telling him to sit in a chair and lip sync on stage, basically. A year and a half, wow, that's a long time between comebacks. Oh my god. Oh, they're going on stage! Even though he doesn't, uh, 
remember anything or know anything. Oh my god! They look like a real K-pop group except for him. Cause he's an... Oh no. This is a mess. Fireworks just started? What? Oh. Uh oh, the manager is taking a scouting offer. <laughs> well, Wild Animal can't be over because this is the first episode, so. I can't believe the manager totally just dipped on them and disappeared. Oh, the CEO is calling now. <laughs> Their manager ran away. Oh, there's our main girl. Wait, maybe she's famous too? No. I'm gonna have to look up the synopsis because I forgot who she like what her role is. What she is in the show. Oh my god. NF Agency Best Employee Award. Okay, so she works for an agency. She's reading the online comments about the wild animal performance. The disaster. Who are doing the walk of shame into the agency office. He's still so confused. This poor guy. LLL Entertainment. I was fighting the devil just a few hours ago. Oh my god. The translation is so funny. He went sour after fainting. Our visual center. Oh, he's the visual center. Well, that makes sense. Oh my god, he keeps touching the CEO. <laughs> he said, I'm the high priest. He's trying to figure out how he can go back to his world because the devil just appeared and then he disappeared. Oh my god, is he gonna pray in the middle of the hospital? He's praying in the middle of the hospital. <laughs> oh my god. Their idol in his group who was checking him in <laughs> just turned around and saw him. I see Kim Mingyu as such a serious actor who plays like serious characters and now he's playing this Yatsuba character. Okay, now they're saying he should see a psychiatrist. He's uh, trying to heal this little boy's arm with his divine power in the hospital. Apparently he's about to fix it. Oh, he's so cute. He fixed his arm. He can take, he can take his arm out of the cast. Oh, that was a cute moment. He's in the dorm for his first time. He's, <laughs> it's such a boy's dirty dorm. Oh my god. He said the bathroom doesn't even have a bathtub. Oh my god, three of them share a bed? As I'm watching, I'm like trying to think of Maddie's format for her podcast and like stuff that I'm gonna wanna say. I'm probably gonna have to like write notes or something. His divine power is shining. <laughs> As he prays from the hallway. 
I wonder what kind of new manager that the boys are gonna get. Yikes. I wonder why they've been doing so bad. She said for five years, Bonnie's only been going out and not coming in. Uh-oh, is she gonna let them go? Although, how do you let them go? I mean, disband, not let them go. Did the lady, the CEO or whatever, has like shaved head right here. It's very odd. She's too old for it. These poor boys, they just like... It's such a hard industry. They all want to just debut and do well. He's so dumb. Did, a lot of times they don't just ban, they kick someone, disband. They just kick the guy out. Oh, of course he's the top search right now. He crashed the stage. They're gonna be like, we can't disband. We have to take this moment. The main girl is kind of odd looking. Oh, she's unemployed. Oh, okay, she's just one of the f crazy fans. Alright, now we're back to Wild Animal, and apparently she's not letting them go anymore. Because they're trending. Then we go back to our main character, who is still so confused. Okay, now he thinks this is a hallucination from the devil. I like that they still let him keep his divine power in this world. Oh my god. Is the... The idol, is the idol stuck in his head or something? Because I think he just heard his voice. Huh. The young looking guy with the curly hair is, he's really adorable, he's cute. In the group, in the wild animal. Okay, so now they set up this interview with this YouTuber guy, Maka. Oh, it's just Tim that's doing the interview, not the whole group. He told the interviewer that the member said he suffered from BS syndrome. Oh my god. Uh, why are the lights in the studio flickering? Oh my god, everyone froze. Don't tell me they like switch back and forth this whole show. Okay, the lights are still flickering. And outside it looks like, like in the fantasy world, how there were all the dark clouds it's like circling around the building that he's in. It's so funny how, they, how they're doing this. Who's that? Wait, you're telling me, so if he switched... Okay, now they on froze. But if he switched bodies with someone in this world, did the devil also switch bodies? Is that what just happened? <laughs> They're calling it an earthquake, though. He said he doesn't have time to waste pretending to be an idol because the devil is basically there. He doesn't understand building security. No, the old guy, his eyes have the red in it. All right, episode one is over. I'm not watching episode two now, so I'll see you guys probably tomorrow when I finish. What's up you guys? So <laughs> I guess I sort of made a mukbang. I just got a bunch of Korean food because that's what I was craving. I feel like I'm on the brink of getting a cold. Um, but anyway, I am going to episode two of The Heavenly Idol. So I thought I would <laughs> start this vlog while eating. I got 
lots of different stuff. I paid a lot of money because I wasn't sure what I was craving. But when I'm on the brink of getting sick, I either like to eat um, Israeli food, Jewish food, or um, Korean food. So, um, yeah. Hope everyone's doing well. Um, I went to bed early yesterday, so I was only able to get through one episode. Maybe it was two days ago. I think I watched it on Tuesday, not Wednesday. So it's been two days. Um, but regardless of that, I am recording a podcast tonight with Maddie. So I need to finish watching before the podcast. And then I will wrap up this vlog and give my final thoughts um, after the first two episodes. And whether or not if I think this show is worth your time. Let's just get into episode two of The Heavenly Idol and eat some food. We got some japjae and then the banchan that came with the japjae, which banchan are side dishes. And then I couldn't change, I couldn't make up my mind, so I got both. I got kimbap, and this is like bulgogi kimbap, and then I got tteokbokki. And, you know, I can also make, like, a little box for lunch tomorrow. So this is, like, what we're working with. Oh, and this one's 58 minutes. So this one's even shorter than the first episode. She's such a stalker that she knew that his accent was different than Yonu. That's so funny. He's literally telling her his life story about how he got sent. The devil who's in the other world suddenly showed up in this world. <laughs> she thinks he went crazy. <laughs> she said, you used to be so pure, what happened to you? You're really lumbrary. Do you really not remember anything from when you were Woon, whatever his name is, Woon Yun Woo. I gotta write down all the names for tonight when I talk about them. It's time for some tteokbokki. He said, I thought you'd be different because you recognized that I wasn't Woon Yun Woo. But you're just the same. These little animations are so cute. <laughs> she said she'd rather him not be an idol because he let go of all his sanity. He doesn't know how to get back to his dorm. He literally asked a fan to take her take him back to his dorm. You know what would happen if that really occurred in Korea? Oh my god, there'd be a restraining order against her. She keeps having this flashback like to when they met, I guess the first time and he signed like a big autograph and he was smiling so brightly at her. You seem to know a lot about Woo yeah, Young. Yeah. What's your name? <laughs> He just found out there's a cathedral nearby because he's hearing the bell ring. I think he's going to try and talk to Wu Yun Wu in his head. Because remember in the first episode we heard his voice? I made a mess. He looks like he's about to pass out. Oh. Uh oh. They want to put him on a survival show. You know what survival shows are notorious for? Bad editing. <laughs> He's still sleeping on the floor. He's saying, Are we birds or something with the tiny amount that we eat? Even the lower class would have better meals. Yikes. What is this commentary though on actually like how they, the treatment of idols and what they eat? I wanted to take notes so I remember my thoughts for tonight. Is he really going to be on an idol show? He's not good at singing, but he's good at dancing. 
The CEO is not good at dancing. So the name of the show that he's gonna be on, maybe, is Sing Survival. Sing Survival. The CEO is so silly. There's like a whole display of food on the table that he's never seen because it's like all packaged food and he asked if the stuff on the table is edible. Oh my god. She kicked him out of the meeting room. The firework that just went up above his head for trying a Kit Kat, a Kit Kat for the first time. Oh my god. <laughs> he just shoved the rest of the candy in his mouth. Okay, this is the writer, the main producer of the show. Oh god. He's gonna be the controversial character on the singing show. Uh-uh. Of course he's damaged. His image might be damaged, but he'll still be the talk of the town. I gotta wonder if this is like what conversations really look like behind all these shows. Like, <clears throat> produce X101 before they canceled it. Oh, she, the main, the girl is looking up to see what kind of trauma he might have been through. What is she doing? Oh. It's just her neighbors. What is going on? Was she in a group or something? She's getting some kind of trauma flashback from the noise. Wait, is she gonna apply to be their manager? There was just a flash of a application for LL's man LLL's manager. Ah, oh. her role was put another member of Wild Animal into the show. I don't like that. She said you can put him in and, and edit him however you want as long as you put another member in. She put the guy with the long curly hair in. God, he's obsessed with candy now. This is so funny. Aww. This is like really a tribute to how hard idols work. That's what I think this show, the bottom line is. <laughs> he wants all the snacks. Oh, poor Casey. He was so um, stiff in the photos. Poor guy. Uyunu, you're up next. <laughs> he just asked what to pose. Oh my god. He said, can I eat the snacks after doing my photo shoot? Oh my god. <laughs> of course he's gonna be a natural at posing, right? What is he doing? He's getting on his knees. They told him to do a confident pose and he's in a prayer pose. <laughs> I said, I knew it. He's a natural at the photos. <laughs> of course. Oh my God. But they're all like prayer poses. Oh my God. He said he's gonna do his best because he'll get a lot of the tributes, all the food and stuff, all the snacks. Oh my god, he doesn't know what a camera is. Oh my god. He doesn't want to open a few buttons, pretend to seduce the camera. Oh my god, they're telling a priest to seduce the camera. <laughs> An idol's life is so troublesome. He's still thinking about the snacks. Oh? 
Oh Oh He unbuttoned his shirt. Oh my god. Ah, look at the handsome man. <laughs> He's thinking about the snacks. He's like, let me just get this over with for the snacks. Oh no, a bad guy style. They just told him to pose like a sexy demon. Oh my god. Man, let's go. <laughs> I cannot do that. Something else. Just do not order a man to become a demon. Let's stop until you think of another pose besides a demon. I don't think this is how it goes at, at, uh, at photo sessions. Oh my god. Do you not know what demons are like? Does this world not think anything of demons? If it means being noticed by other people, idols can be vampires or demons. Uh... <laughs> CEO just called. Please get us a manager. Is it her? Is that the girl? The girl she applied to become a manager? I knew it. I called it. It's very obvious though. She has such a cute face. I have to look up the actress's name. The job of a road manager is very hard. That's just true. Fans don't like it when the manager is a woman. Oh, what a lie. There will be no chance of me getting involved privately with any of the members. Well, we know that's a lie. Uh oh. Uh. She got hired as the manager, obviously, because she just drove the van to get them. He was about to say, don't we know each other? And then she was like, don't you dare, not in this car. <laughs> Why are they taking her to the hospital? Him to the hospital. Oh my god, they took her to the psychiatric hospital. What psychiatric tests are gonna be done now? She's just like feeding him to the wolves in there. Oh my god, what's on the questionnaire? <laughs> Why are the questions on the questionnaire so depressing? The girl is a mystery, like, her past. There are all these snippets of her past, but... I don't know anything. Uh, he finished the questionnaire. He doesn't even feel like a young person. Well, at least his depression and anxiety are low. Oh, their greeting is so cute. Let's get wild. Uh, this is a flashback. It's when she first discovered them, I think. Oh, the flashback she always has of him is when they first met and he was busking. He's writing new roller schedules for her. I just want you to remember <laughs> He took all her alcohol. Oh my god. His signature said healing people is my calling. Aww. He saved her. Now she thinks it's her turn to save him. Oh my, no, he sees Candy. He's in the waiting room while she's in with the psychiatrist. 
Oh, maybe Lembrari likes candy because Wu Yan Wu loved candy. He took the whole basket of candy. Oh my god, of course they have a meditation room. <laughs> he ate all the candy. Because he's trying to talk to Wu Yan Wu. Is he putting his divine power? He's like. I think he's. I think what I said before, he's trying to talk to. Are you there, Wu Yan Wu? Wait, they did trade. Wait, they literally did trade. Oh my god. World. <laughs> he said, but he doesn't want to go back to his body. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> the clothing is uncomfortable, but I'm having an easy time being the high priest. <laughs> This is hysterical. I don't want to go back to being a failed idol. Uh oh, she's coming out of the psychiatrist's office. This is hysterical. You would think that he'd be wanting his body back when he's so confused, but. What do I need to do for you to switch bodies with me? Become a chable? <laughs> oh, I get the plot now. I will make sure to make wild animal a success. Oh my god. He's gonna pass out. Uh, and he passed out. Now he's gonna pass out? They're okay, they made a contract. So now it's Lim. Ferrari's mission to make wild animal a success so that he can go back to his body. I see the plot of this now. That man used up too much of his divine power. He just wants to go home. No, he didn't hang up. He passed out. He's so sweaty. <laughs> he said he signed a slave contract. That's it! Let's give some final thoughts. So I watched the first two episodes. The third and fourth episode just came out. Well, today and then tomorrow the fourth episode will come out. Um, so I will continue watching this. There's only 12 episodes. I'm invested. It's not that long. Actually, the next episode is a little longer, an hour and seven minutes. Um, I think it's cute. It's witty. I really also think that this drama is turning out to be a commentary on the idol industry. Um, you know, from, like, him, uh, Limbrari, from him making fun of, like, this tiny portions of food to um, the photo shoots. And I think we're going to see other odes to, like, idol life. So I really do think that this drama is going to wind up being like a romantic, it's like a comedy, but I think it's a satirical take on the idol life. I'm shouting. Um, but anyway, so I do like it. Um, Kim ming is doing a good job. I was curious if he could play this kind of character just because like the last role that I saw him in, he it was such like a more serious role, serious and thoughtful role. So, um... I do like it. I think I'm going to stick with it and see it through. It's only 12 episodes, like I've said three times now. Um, and yeah, that's that. those are my thoughts on the first two episodes. 
Um, it is available on Viki. I don't think it's on Netflix or anywhere else. Um, so check it out if you have the time. And I think I'm going to end this vlog and go put my Korean food away, write down some more final thoughts, and then I have to record a podcast tonight. I'll link that episode down below with my friend Maddie. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, hopefully this wasn't too boring for you. Um, but you guys seem to like this watch style vlog, so let me know what you would like to see next. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good evening, day, morning, wherever you are, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!